so hello guys and welcome back once again so guys today we are back with our 100 day j advanced question series and i am really sorry because there was a very huge delay in this series but don't worry before j advanced comes i will surely complete our 100 days there's a long time left still so i will surely complete 100 days of questions much before your j advanced comes that's for sure okay Anyways guys, this is the question today and obviously this question is also from Vishal Tiwari sir's notes. Like Vishal Tiwari sir's notes, all the questions are worth making videos, okay? You can't ignore a single one because every question is a masterpiece. Anyways, so guys, this is the question. If you want, you may try this question out once for yourself. I will wait for a few seconds and then start off. Okay, so guys, they are telling that a0, a1, a2 up till an is a sequence of real numbers satisfying this condition. So the condition is your an plus 6 is equal to 18 whole divided by your 3 minus an plus 1. Now guys, this is actually, these type of problems are called recurrence problems, okay? Recurrence series problems. Now basically recurrence series problems are something that don't follow something like it's not a particular pattern AP, GP or something. Okay. It's in a general formula. Maybe it will be a pattern that our brain can see, our brain can understand. Okay. There is a repetition like this, but otherwise we can't recognize whether it's a pattern that is well defined in our chapters or not. Okay. So basically recurrence problems are very famous in J advance. People have given these problems, different IITs have given these problems at different papers. So I guess doing these questions is good. Okay. Like you should put in the habit of solving such questions because you should not expect at all in J advance, although the recent years are giving APGP problems only, but I guess you should not expect in the first chance that the, a series problem in J advance will be something that is defined in your textbooks like an arithmetic, harmonic or geometric progression or something. Okay. It will obviously be something you should keep this in mind that it will obviously be something that we don't know about. Anyway, so guys beginning, this is the general formula given. And now what I am doing is I will multiply both sides by three minus a n plus one. So this becomes this into this equal to 18. Okay. So let's simplify this multiply. So this will be three a n uh, minus of three a n into a n plus one plus six three is eighteen minus of six a n plus one. And this thing is coming out to be equal to eighteen. So eighteen and eighteen obviously they get cancelled. So this is your final equation that is coming. And now if we take a n plus one common. Like if we take these two terms to one side and take a n plus one common, rather, I guess we can take three a n plus one common. Then this will come out to be a n minus of your two, which is equals to three a n. So three and three get cancelled. And therefore, a n plus one uh, Okay, guys, wait, I made a mistake in calculation. This three won't be there. This is only a n into a n plus one. Okay. Sorry for the calculation mistake. So this will be a n plus one and this is a n plus six, not a n minus two, a n plus six. And this is as it is equal to three a n. So basically a n plus one will come out to be equal to three a n by a n plus six. Okay. Uh, if my lines and writing are a bit slanted or maybe crooked towards the right side, please ignore that because I am right now writing on a very uneven surface. Okay. So that could, that is actually creating some sort of problem for me. Anyways, please ignore that. So guys, after this, this is the relation that we are having. Now I am going to apply a trick here and I will explain also why. Basically what I will do is I am going to do a reciprocal substitution here. I will put B n a variable as one by A n. Okay. Now if is this is B n is equal to one by A n I am substituting. So basically A n is one by B n. That means your A n plus one. This thing would come out to be equal to in terms of B n. This will be three by B n. 
होल डिवाइडेड बाय योर वन बाय बी एन प्लस सिक्स और इन अदर वर्ड्स कैलकुलेशन विल गिव दिस टू बी कमिंग आउट टू बी इक्वल टू थ्री बाय वन प्लस सिक्स टाइम्स ऑफ योर बी एन ओके नाउ राइट नाउ ए एन प्लस वन ऑन दिस साइड सो दिस इज नथिंग बट योर वन बाय बी एन प्लस वन so from here guys bn plus 1 this thing would come out to be 1 plus 6 bn by 3 basically 1 by 3 plus 2 bn okay so uh, okay and in our question they had given us that the value of a not is 3 so basically ban value of b not will be 1 by 3 so i guess guys if we put this like this is actually the reason for putting bn is equal to 1 by an is this okay because if you see this particular equation or expression or whatever we had right here like relation in between an plus 1 and an this is not linear this is type of a fraction this is not linear okay but this recurrence we are having here is perfectly linear and that is the reason this is a standard linear recurrence okay now you could confuse in the terms like what i am speaking so i will explain basically in solving recurrence problems like if you see your standard summation formula and all that for say arithmetic progression so arithmetic progression summation formula is n by 2 times 2 times n by 2 times first bracket 2 into first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference where n is the number of terms okay this is perfectly linear like it could maybe have quadratic functions in n but in terms of the first term it is perfectly linear okay so that is what our what our target is we will try to keep our expression always in linear terms in terms of the first term because our if you notice the question once just go a little back and see the question the question had different values of a to be found out okay so our motive should always be to find this out in a linear expression so that our calculation becomes easier and like standard linear recurrence formula is much better than something like this okay it makes your task simpler that could be a uh, an explanation to what i did anyways so guys this is the formula and now we will proceed okay now guys i am going to do something which you need to look in very carefully first thing is we have calculated our b not to be equal to 1 by 3 right now if you find out a few values like i am writing the values for you if you find out your b1 manually okay we are not doing anything specific here just the manual values we will calculate from this general formula if you find out b1 b1 will come out to be 1 b2 if you find out it will come out to be 7 by 3 and if you find out b3 this will come out to be 5 now if you multiply each of these terms with 3 then 3 b0 is equal to 1 3b1 is equal to 3 3b2 is equal to 7 and 3b3 3b3 i am sorry it is equal to 15 now if you look at this carefully you can notice a pattern 3bn this is nothing but 2 to the power n plus 1 minus 1 okay now there is actually a better explanation to this like uh, you can actually tell me that uh, you, i put all the random val like i calculated all the values and then found out this what is the guarantee that i will get a general formula like this and all that okay like critics will always question us on that you should always have an explanation right like when you are solving a sum critics will question you on each and every possible thing so you should have an explanation So basically, I will take you a little bit deep dive into that linear recurrence thing. Look in carefully. Basically, this is a standard linear recurrence we found. Okay, like whatever I am going to do right now, this is not very much part of your syllabus. So don't question right now on this. But this is just for your explanation so that you have a better like. better visual of what we did in the sum right it should not remain hazy in front of you that okay we did put some values and found out so our standard linear recurrence formula for b was bn plus 1 is equal to 2bn plus 1 by 3 now here 1 by 3 is a constant so if we take only the b terms then actually because it is a standard linear recurrence it is said that 
bn plus 1 will be equals to twice bn in some case okay like well, how do i explain this is basically the homogeneous part we are comparing the powers or rather we are comparing the values homogeneously okay 1 by 3 is something like 0 0.33 so that will not too much add. So we are approximating and calculating the homogeneous part only. Okay. This might seem a little bit difficult. So if you don't want to deep dive into this, then just skip a few seconds after because this is something that I can't, I don't have, you know, like when you go into a war, you go with pistols, weapons, guns. I don't have the guns to go into the war. I don't have enough material. Like you also don't have enough knowledge such that I can explain this to you when it goes into your mind this is higher mathematics but still i am doing it just know that this happens okay now what i will do is basically if we take a b n power h this will come out to be some c times 2 power n why because this 2 here is a multiplicative term in the recurrence now b n plus 1 is 2 times b n so if we power b n to some h okay this is n actually this is n and this is h if we power this bn into to, to the power of say some h, it will come out to be some constant times 2 power n. Okay. So, from here, actually, if we do b power another power say p, this will come out to be another constant some k. This is a general formula. Like b power p will obviously be some constant, right? Nothing of explanation here. Obviously, if you power b to something, it will obviously be a constant because they are all values. Okay, so guys, from like what we are actually doing is we will put this b power p is equal to k. We are using this equation right now. b power p is equal to k is equal to b n plus 1 is 2 b n. Okay, b n plus 1 is 2 b n. So we are using this multiplicative constant, applying this approximation and putting this equal to 2 k plus 1 by 3. So after that, you will get k is equal to minus 1 by 3. So then we actually say that the general solution for Bn will be something of the form c into 2 power n minus 1 by 3. And after that, B0 is given as 1 by 3. So you put that into this equation, do the calculation and you will get c is equal to 2 by 3, just like we do. This is nothing abnormal. So from here, you will actually get your Bn to be 2 by 3, 2 power n, minus 1 by 3. So this comes out to be 2 power n plus 1, minus 1 by 3. Okay. Same thing, right? It was 3 multiplied and this is 2 power n plus 1, minus 1. Like, if you guys don't understand this method, I would tell you don't deep dive. Because this is not, this is not going to come in your JE, obviously. Uh, like... I guess if they give you sums like this, the method we did previously, putting the values and all that, that will be the most beneficial one, okay? You don't need to worry about this. Just know that something like this happens. If you later on, maybe sometime later in your years, if you deep dive into mathematics in your higher studies, you will know that things like this happen. You will study a lot about recurrence, like, see, in your BSc and BTEC, I guess the first semester contains sequence and series as a huge chapter. A lot of things are there. So there you will study all this in detail. Okay. Don't right now deep dive because your J advance is very near. Uh, if you want to know, that's okay. I explained because it's my duty to give you a logical reason and not make it hazy inside your mind. Okay. We are doing maths. Anyways. So guys, that is the point. Now moving forward, we had already found our 3BN to be equal to 2 power N plus 1 minus 1. So going back to a n, this is not our motive, right? b n is this. So the b n is nothing but 1 by a n. So from here, a n will come out to be 3 by 2 power n plus 1 minus 1. This here is the expression for a n. Okay. Now we are not actually done. They had given something like our motive was not to find a in the options. Our motive was to find r. Now, they have defined that Rn is equal to 3 times sigma R equals 0 to n 1 by AR. So, 1 by AR is nothing but BR. That means we have to sum up 
three times sigma r equals 0 to n and this is 2 power of r plus 1 minus 1 by 3. So, this 3 and this 3 obviously will get cancelled. So, you will have sigma r equal to 0 to n 2 power r plus 1 minus sigma r equals 0 to n 1. So, obviously guys, if we sum this up, pretty easy I guess. This will come out to be rn equal to. This is 2 power r plus 1 summation I guess. So, this is the your n terms geometric series. So, this will come out to be I guess your weight. First term is 2. So, first term into r, this thing will be 2 power I guess n plus 1 because it is 0 to n, n plus 1 number of terms and the common ratio is 2. So, 2 power n plus 1 minus 1 whole divided by 2 minus 1. So, 2 power n plus 2. Okay, wait. I will write this in the next step. 2 power n plus 2 minus 2. And also, this is also this term is being summed, right? We can't ignore that. So, basically, this is coming out to be your n plus 1 itself because n plus 1 times 1 is being summed. So, this will come out to be 2 power n plus 2 minus 2 minus of your n plus 1 which means Rn is nothing but 2 power n plus 2 minus n minus 3. This is the final expression for your Rn and it's done. So, this is the final expression for Rn guys. Now, they had given us some values. So, we need to calculate them obviously. They had I guess given us R7, R8, R9 and R10. So, I have calculated them and I will write. R7 is coming out to be like, if we calculate one maybe, I can do it. 2 power 9, 512 minus 7 minus 3, which means 512 minus 10. So, 502. But the first one I was given to be 501. So, it will be wrong. So, just like that, we will calculate the others. I am writing the answers below. This will come out to be 502. R8 will come out to be 1013, R9 will come out to be 2036 and your R10 will come out to be 4083. So guys, this is wrong. This one will also come out to be wrong and this and this are given correctly. Okay. And I guess these were your option numbers B and C. Like, wait, I will check once. Okay, not option numbers B and C, like we wrote them in numeric order. So, they are not options B and C, they are options A and D. Okay, so guys, this question is done and the correct answers for this question will be A and D. Okay. Like, I would not say really difficult question, but like, it's like you need to know the things which are happening, okay? If you don't know what is recurrence and if you haven't solved problems on this and like you can't say this thing is out of syllabus, right? It obviously is a different series than APGP, but it also contains, it contained GP summation in one place and all that. You can't say this is out of syllabus. Anyway, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this question. Really nice question. So that's the end for today's video. If you have liked my channel, do like, share and subscribe. Anything to say, you may come out in the comment section as always. And also do join my telegram discussion chat because I will be discussing fruitful questions. And also your JE prep. I hope it's going good because JE is knocking on the door. Okay. Mains, especially. So that's it for today, guys. And a humble request in the end. Like I have been uploading, like I was off for a few days in the meanwhile. So, guys, I think many of you are not watching the videos because views have really decreased, okay? So, it would be really grateful if you revived my channel once again. Anyways, that's not your task. You have to study. So, guys, that's the end for today's video and thanks for watching.